You know how every new Samsung update claims to be smarter, smoother, and somehow life-changing? Well, most of the time, it's just hype. But this time, it's different, because One UI 8.5 actually feels like a leap forward. This isn't just a redesign, it's like your phone just learned how to think with you. Hey everyone, Alex here from Smart Reviews, and today, we're diving into One UI 8.5, Samsung's most refined, intelligent, and human-feeling update yet. I've been testing it for a while, and trust me, this one hits different. The first thing you'll notice? The motion! Every tap, every swipe, it feels alive. Samsung didn't just tweak the animations, they rebuilt them. Everything has this natural rhythm to it, like the interface reacts with intention. When you open an app, the icons stretch slightly before settling. When you close one, the background glides softly back into focus. It's fluid, calming, and strangely satisfying. But the magic isn't just in how it moves, it's in how it knows you. Samsung's integrated its new neural interaction engine, and it's spooky how well it predicts what you're about to do. You start typing a message, and it automatically suggests attachments or quick replies before you even think about them. You unlock your phone in the morning, and it's already showing your daily schedule, temperature, and commute details on the home feed before you swipe a single thing. The lock screen studio to point zero also got a serious glow up. You can now drag and drop elements live, resize widgets, stack wallpapers, and even use cinematic video loops as part of your setup. It's like building your own dynamic dashboard. The best part? The phone now adjusts text brightness and widget contrast in real time depending on your background, so everything stays readable no matter what wallpaper you use. Then there's the new control center and man, it's slick. Samsung finally nailed the layout. It's cleaner, smarter, and faster. The icons breathe, the haptics click just right, and toggles like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth expand into mini control modules when you hold them. The sound panel now floats on screen with smooth transparency. It feels more MacBook than Android. And we've got to talk about AI Boost Mode. This is Samsung's hidden gem. Instead of being just another battery saver, it actually manages your performance based on intent. When you're gaming, it prioritizes GPU and RAM. When you're on social apps or reading, it shifts to minimal power mode automatically. No manual toggles, no guesswork. The phone adjusts like it's reading your mood. But the real star here is Galaxy Intelligence Layer. Think of it as your invisible co-pilot. It predicts what apps you'll use, keeps them preloaded, and clears ones you're done with, all without draining extra battery. I noticed this firsthand. Opening heavy apps like the camera or Chrome is instant now. No delay, no micro lag. It's just open, ready, go. The camera app also feels brand new. The new Smart Scene Sense feature can detect your environment, lighting, and even motion to adjust color tone before you hit the shutter. And yes, it finally fixes that oversharpened look Samsung phones used to have. Night mode is faster, and portrait mode now handles edge detection like a DSLR. Even pro mode has live histogram feedback and AI suggestions that subtly guide you toward the perfect shot. It's crazy intuitive. Multitasking also feels next level. You can now pin triple split windows and have all three apps actively running. Imagine watching a YouTube video, chatting on WhatsApp, and editing a note, all side by side, with zero lag. It's multitasking perfection. Battery life is another quiet win. The adaptive algorithm now studies your daily rhythm. It learns when you're active, when you rest, and when you're gaming, then tailors the background processes accordingly. I've been getting around 12 to 13 hours of mixed use easily, which is impressive for such a high-performance UE, oh, and the new ambient holo mode. That's something out of sci-fi. When your phone's idle, it turns into a living display, with wallpapers that respond to sound, lighting, or even time of day. Rain outside? Your background ripples gently like water. Playing music? The visuals pulse in sync with the beat. It's the kind of subtle polish that makes you smile every time you glance at your screen. Even the small touches stand out. Smoother edge gestures, a new minimal keyboard layout, redesigned icons that glow softly in dark mode, and improved vibration feedback that feels precise, not buzzy. Samsung's really focused on the feeling of using your phone, not just the specs. And if you're into multitasking or work on your phone a lot, this updates a dream. One UI 8.5 makes switching between productivity, entertainment, and creativity so seamless that you start trusting your phone again, like it's part of your workflow. Not a distraction, if you haven't updated yet, do it. Because once you experience this level of fluidity, you won't want to go back. Everything else feels dated. That's it for this deep dive into One UI 8.5. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button. Share your thoughts below and subscribe for more hands-on tech content. I'm Alex from Smart Reviews and I'll see you in the next one because if this is 8.5,
One UI9 might just blow our minds.